Welcome back boys and girls. Today we are going to be reminded that all we need is Jesus. A man named Paul traveled around telling people about Jesus. As the good news about Jesus spread throughout the world, believers started to get together and form churches everywhere. It was impossible for Paul to lead all of these churches because he traveled so often. So he decided to write letters to them, teaching them about Jesus and what his life, death and resurrection meant to those who believe. These letters now form a huge part of the New Testament in the Bible. Boys and girls, in life you will meet many people who try to add rules to what it means to be God's child. They'll try to add all kinds of things that you have to do in order for God to love and accept you. These people are wrong. That's why Paul wrote this letter to the Galatians, telling them that Jesus set them free to be free, not to follow a bunch of rules. Let's go watch the story, kids. In the early years of the church, Paul traveled in the countries of the Mediterranean area, preaching about Jesus. In many places, Paul started Christian churches. After he left those areas, Paul wrote letters to the people of the churches to help new Christians grow in their faith. They had many questions and needed someone to help them focus on God's Word. Some of these new letters now appear in the New Testament as books of the Bible. The book of Galatians is a letter Paul sent to the churches of the Roman province of Galatia. Sometime after Paul had been in Galatia, other people came teaching an incorrect version of Christianity. So Paul wrote to the members of the churches to correct this mistaken teaching. The incorrect teaching said that Christians had to live by certain Jewish laws. Paul said that Christians were free from those laws, but should live by the Spirit of God. People need the Spirit of God to help them live as God wants them to. When people don't live by God's Spirit, the desire to do wrong things can lead to sinful behavior such as being jealous, hating others, refusing to obey, and other things like this. Paul said that people who love like that will not be received into God's kingdom. But Christians are people who have crucified or put to death these natural desires. When people live by the Spirit of God, they behave towards one another with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control. These things are called the fruit of the Spirit. When people live this way, they are keeping in step with the Spirit of God. Sometime after Paul left Galatia, people came along teaching an incorrect version of what it means to be a Christian. They tried to add many rules and rituals, telling God's people that they could only be saved if they followed all the rules all the time. These rules were known as the law. The law was based on the Old Testament's laws that God's people followed before Jesus came to set them free. Paul reminded the Galatians that because of Jesus, they were completely free from those laws and instead he encouraged them to live as people who allow the Holy Spirit to work in their hearts and through their lives. In the book of Galatians, Paul explains that we don't need to live to try keep the law in order to please God. Jesus died to set us free from sin and if we try to keep the law, we would simply become slaves again. He knew that it was impossible for anyone to be good enough for God on their own. Only Jesus could ever meet that standard. And he did. Jesus did everything necessary to set God's people free and Galatians reminds us that we don't need to add any impossible task to that. Jesus is enough. Jesus is all we need. The point Paul was trying to make when he wrote his letters to the Galatians was that God had given them something great. God had set them free from the punishment of sin. God made a way for them to have life instead of death. Then other teachers came along and tried to add rules to that freedom. They tried to bring back some of the Old Testament laws and told people, you won't be good enough for God if you don't follow these rules too. But Paul wasn't having any of it. He told the Galatians that Jesus had set them free to be free. He told them to become slaves to law, trying to impress God by keeping rules and being good, but rather to live with the Holy Spirit leading them every step of the way. All we need is Jesus and nothing else. Let's go worship, kids.
a journey Sailing the ocean of God's great love Come on, let's go on a journey Holding on to His promises from above I'll trust the Lord with all my heart And He'll direct my path Come on, let's go on a journey Of God's great love roar in front of me so high that I can't see you I don't have to be afraid when your voice is calling me to deep seas I've never traveled I don't have to be afraid I know your promises are true promises are His promises, His great light will guide my way, blessing me with every day. His love covers my mistakes, sets the path that I should take. Jesus, King of everything, I put my faith in Him. Come on, let's go on a journey. Boys and girls, in case you missed it, today we learned that it's Jesus and Jesus plus nothing. Jesus died for our sins so that we can be free. We don't need to do things to impress God. We can live with the Holy Spirit's guidance. It's family prayer time. It was so good to be with you again today. We have learned some incredible things about our awesome God. And next week, we'll learn even more. Jesus and what his life, death, and resurrection. Oh. <laughs> resurrection. He gone down, get resurrected. <laughs>